In this video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your Intel art card. This can be done through the art control panel and it's pretty easy to do, but do keep in mind that you can potentially damage your hardware or degrade the lifespan. So do this at your own risk. So you want to open uh, Intel art control panel and you're going to go to the performance tab and go to performance tuning and configure. So if you want to keep your settings, you might want to toggle apply settings on system boot. Now we're going to start uh, the overclock first. You can increase the power limit to all to the max. And you can see in the overlay, it doesn't really change anything because I'm voltage limited on my card. So I'm going to increase the voltage slightly. And you can already see that it's going up to 190 watts here. Clock speed has also increased a little bit. I'm going to increase it by 10 more. Uh, 20 more. As you can see, it's uh, going to 200 almost. And the court clock is also a little bit higher. I'm going to increase it a little bit more. Now you can see it's uh, basically at the power limit 215, 216 watts. Now we can uh, slightly increase the GPU boost clock. I'll do it by 20 here. you'll see that it's uh, going to almost 2600 now. Add a little bit more voltage. And it's going to 2600, over 2600 now. We can even go all the way to like 125. And it might even go up to 2700 times. I wouldn't recommend this for long term, but if you want to get the max out of it, you can do it if you have the thermal headroom. So what I always uh, do is um, I leave it at 25 on the performance boost and 75 on my uh, voltage, like you can see here now. So with this, I'm able to get around 2600, uh, a little bit more than 2600 uh, on the core. And I'm able to max up the power limit in some games. And I actually see a, a noticeable uh, increase in FPS, like 3 to 5 FPS, while uh, not uh, increasing the voltage all too high. And so my card isn't running too hot. So that's basically how it works. You just want to slowly increase your voltage and the performance boots and see if you get any higher clocks and if the power limit goes up. And if you got something that you think is gonna be good, you're gonna run a couple games, you can see if it's, it's running well, if it's not crashing, if it's not stuttering or has any other issues like uh, artifacting. And I would suggest you to not go too high on the voltage. I would recommend not going anything like above 125, 150 millivolts, which is probably still on the high side, I would definitely stay away from like 200 because you do not want to degrade the uh, silicon all too much in the long term. So that's basically how you do it. I hope uh, you learned something. And I hope you can uh, get a little bit more performance out of your card this way.